what is going on guys i'm back with another video today i'm going to be doing another talking video on why i think that rittenhouse cards is arguably the best card company out there looking at all the products i think that they have a shot they have a good argument to being one of the best companies out there and i'm gonna tell you why here's just some examples of if you aren't familiar with what they produce they are they do all the umbrella academy stuff we got some umbrella academies they do some game of thrones a brawn autograph here's one of the sketch cards from the show that i actually pulled myself throw it up in the right hand corner absolutely beautiful but i think that they are one of if not the best card company out there and for the biggest and most important reason is I actually have those two and then those three all written house cards. And if you look at every single one of them, you'll see those silver stickers there and they have those there because it's a seal. But what they do is they number all their boxes. So this one, only 5,000 of these boxes made. You know that there's 5,000 of those made and only 5,000 will ever be made. Hopefully, unless they're fucking cheap, uh, cheap bastards that don't care. But I highly doubt that. This one, only 6,000. This one actually was, I think, one of their highest print runs. It's 15,000. It's not on there, but it's 15,000 for that. And you don't, I don't think you see any other hobbies do that. Other other card companies do that. You don't see Upper Deck. Upper, this is, these are a couple of Upper Deck products non-sports cards but they don't they don't number these products you don't know how many of these boxes are made well, uh, same thing with dr strange same thing with marvel platinum i mean rittenhouse it's it's honestly something small but it me it has so much value because and this is another thing that i love about rittenhouse cards is that if you go on the websites and you look up the product checklist they have i guess you call them tiered categories on on the different autographs that you can get so for example right uh the this brawn autograph if i went to i think this is a season six autograph so if i went to the season six checklist i'll, pro I'll try and throw up screenshots or maybe a, a screen recording but if i went to the season six checklist and i looked up i looked at the brawn this specific brawn autograph on the website, they tier out every single autograph. And I want to say this one is tiered at very limited. So when you look at the very limited tier, it would say that there's only 100 to 200 copies of this that exist in the entire world. That is it. No more, no less than 100 or 200. That is absolutely brilliant. Because when you look at other hobbies, especially the Prism, the Prism Brush nowadays, the OPG Platinums, how many of those boxes are made? And on top of that, how many different parallels are there of that base silver parallel that are going for hundreds of dollars? How many different parallels are out there of each different card? It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you can, you can obviously you can tell if it's a numbered insert, that's how many there are. But the thing that, I, I, that th those products don't do is they don't number the boxes. So why is it that the silver prism parallels are going for hundreds of dollars when there's thousands of those cards out there. It just it, it doesn't make sense. It's literally based off of, of the, the the hype factor. And when people actually step back to realize that the the parallels that are that are hype nowadays, I mean, look at all the downtowns, look at all the look at all the kabooms. I mean, how many of those are out there? I mean, let's be real here. Let's be real here. There's a lot of those inserts out there. Come at me in the comments. I don't care. Maybe you're agreeing with me. I don't know. But Rittenhouse actually d takes the time to number this stuff out. And you can kind of, you can, you could see what is limited and what's not. It's just, they're very transparent. And that's what I love about the checklists and the boxes that produce. And uh, another, the, the other good thing that I like about the specific cards is that the, the chases that you're going for are the autographs. And 98.3% of all the autographs are on card autographs that if you're not, if you're not in the card hobby, having an on card autograph compared to a sticker autograph, there's a big difference, right? With a sticker autograph, I'll throw, I'll throw up a picture is that you have the signers, right? And they'll get a sheet, like maybe a paper sized with a ton of stickers on there and they'll sign each sticker. And then what the card company does is they'll take the sticker, they'll peel it off, and they'll put it on the card, right? 
But if it's an on-card autograph, that means that if Braun is going to sign this card, he has to get these specific stack of cards, hold the card on the table, and actually sign the card himself. That's a big difference in the hobby. That means a lot because it just kind of kind of makes it more personal, right? The person actually signed this specific card compared to the sticker. I mean, even a, a relic autograph, this is an on-card autograph, right? A lot of the sticker, a lot of the patch autographs and a lot of the, the, the jersey autographs in sports, they're all sticker autographs. I mean, and on top of that, the relic autographs or the 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 the, the jersey cards some of them are manufactured patches. Some of them are, are just player worn. They're not game worn, right? There's also a big difference between game worn, player worn, and manufactured patch. There's three very different categories there. Game worn being the best. And you can kind of see the hobby going away from that. But now, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, they could be lying here. But I mean, this may not have been worn by him. But if we're going off what the card said, this is costume material contains authentic of a Klaus Hargreaves shirt, right? I mean, it, you could kind of say the same thing. Maybe he didn't wear it in a scene to act, but he wore it on set. It's a set prop and it kind of, I don't know. I think that's cool. I'm not a big fan of these cards, but I mean, getting a, a packing a top rookie autograph with a manufactured patch, that's like a punch in the face, right? That patch means absolutely nothing. They printed that for maybe a dollar twenty five in in some warehouse somewhere that has no meaning to it whatsoever, right? It's kind of a punch in the face to the collector. Uh, that's just me though. Let me know what you think of that down below. But that those are just some some things that I love about written house cards that I think are absolutely brilliant that that a lot of the the card companies are getting away from nowadays so those are just some points that i love about rittenhouse let me know what you think do you agree do you disagree am i missing anything do you absolutely hate rittenhouse do you think i'm being too hard on sports cards let me know anything down below i'd love to talk about it so thank you guys for watching stay tuned till next video Mom.